So let's see, I have a little story to tell here. And here's how it goes. There were four friends. Here's a picture of four friends. Can you see them? Four friends were looking up at a big mountain. And one of the, they wanted to get to the top of the mountain because God was on the top of the mountain, up there with the sun. Can you see it? And one of the friends named Vince said, I know how to get to the top of the mountain. I'll take this path around to the side over here. That's what Vince thought. And another friend said, no. And that was Michelle. She said, I'm going to climb these cliffs here. That's how I'll get to the top of the mountain. And everybody said, no, no, that's not a good way. But she insisted. She said, that's the way I'm going to go. And a third friend, Ken, he said, I know what I'm going to do. I see a cave over there. And I'm going to go into that cave right here and meditate for a while and get all inspired. And that'll find me a way to the top of the mountain. So there's Ken. And the last of the four friends, Judy, said, no, no, you guys have got it all wrong. The best way to go is that river that's coming down, all those waterfalls down there. I'm going to follow that river up to the top of the mountain. And they said, no, that's going to be hard, Judy. You don't want to do that. But she insisted that was going to be her way to get up the mountain. So. They all went off their separate ways. Here goes Vince. You can see Vince taking his path, walking up the mountain. And he's perfectly happy walking along his path. And the other friend, Michelle, she was a mountain climber. So she threw her ropes up on the cliff and she pulled herself up that cliff, but it was hard. It was not easy, but Michelle, she was determined. And she knew how to climb that mountain and she was gonna do it her way. And the third friend, <clears throat> Ken, he went off to his cave. He liked caves. And he went and sat in his cave and he meditated really hard and he got all inspired. And that gave him a vision of how to get to the top of the mountain. <clears throat> and the fourth friend, Judy, she did the hardest of all. She got in her canoe and she went over to that river and she put her boat in the water and she had to paddle against the current and go up. And every time she came to a waterfall, she had to get out and carry the canoe around the waterfall. It was a lot of work. But she didn't care because that's the way she wanted to go. So each of these friends thought, my way is the best way. And I'm going to get to the top of the mountain first. And Judy padded, paddled really hard and worked her way up the mountain and the river. And Ken, he meditated in his cave. And he got all kinds of visions and figured out how he was going to get to the top of the mountain. And Michelle, she just pulled herself with her ropes up that mountain. And Vince, he took the long, slow way up the nice trail, had a lovely day walking peacefully around the mountain. Well, who do you think got to the mountain first? <laughs> I 
Well, guess what? Guess what? They all thought they were going to, that their way is the only way to get to the top of the mountain. But a few minutes later, look what happened. Here they are on the top. Of, here's the top of the mountain. And there's Judy pulling up her canoe. And there's Vince rounding the corner on his trail. And there's Ken emerging from his cave. And there's Michelle, who just pulled herself over the top of the cliff. And they all got to the top of God Mountain at the same time all by their different ways. <clears throat> and that's kind of how religions work too. There are lots of different religions in this world, but they all have the same intention of reaching God. Some of them have a very different notions of what God is, or if there is one at all, but um, everybody has their own way, their own path to being connecting with the spirit. And that's the end of this little story. Thank you so much for coming today. <laughs>